Let's move on now. Since we just did a whole topic on him, let's talk about Wet Boys. AD again is climbing up the leaderboard. He has now taken the number one spot in the 2017-2018 Wet Boy total. Four weeks now for AD being a Wet Boy. If you're new to this topic, Wet Boy is a player who is red hot throughout the past week since we last recorded to the day we are recording. A guy that put up stupid, ridiculous numbers, and we gotta give him props. These are the soggiest of shooters, the wettest of boys, the dampest of dudes, the uh, moist men. That, there thank we you. Go. That's the one I was hoping for. I messed love up the order. One. We're talking about wet boys. Ricky, give us your wet boy. Well, my first one is the King LeBron James. Not just 31, 11, and 9 this week, but you got the milestone. You got the 38 and 8 overall. You've got everything for what I believe this last month he averaged a triple, triple double, double. Yep. Mm-hmm. for the entire month. Like it had to be the shortest month of the year. Like though. he Kinda is <laughs> Yeah. Well like, he could he could do it for two more days, well, three more days if he needed. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Are we are we gonna go back to January and take his last two games in January or are we gonna take the first two in I'm March? Sorry. I'm just ESPN and yeah. yeah I'm, I'm just say, I'm saying like he could possibly do it. This is the guy wet boy for the week. All right, not giving props for the, the amazing uh, oh, uh, dribble. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, I on. forgot about that. Yeah. I was thinking about James Harden. So was I mean, on Rocco just, and Embiid and then Tristan Thompson, It was right Thompson, through TT's leg where he just I mean, threw the pa- – what was it? like? No, it was, a, it, was it? Bu- it was behind the back. It was behind it was the back. Through TT's legs, yeah. though. Yeah, through TT's legs. And then he gets it, and the best part, puts it in for two. I mean, that was complete the play. It was an one. Yeah, he complete the play. It was the best part. One of the coolest things we saw all week. Yeah. Uh, my, my white boy for the week, I'm giving some love to those Phoenix Suns. Those boys are just, they're racing for the tank. They're um, so bad. <laughs> they are incredibly bad, but you know what's fun about them? Devin Booker. Devin Booker's that shining ray. Uh, he's putting up, you know, just, just an easy 36, uh, 8, and 5 on, like, 47% shooting, 42 from behind the line. Like, come on. I, I know this kid's amazing, and I, I honestly, I want to keep pushing him because, like, I know that they don't get enough love because they're just an awful mm-hmm. team. Now he's got a point guard there, a real point guard. Thanks, Orlando. Well, let's. I, I'm really interested <laughs> to see what's going to happen with with their drafting. Yeah. Because they're, if they get if they get another point guard, if it, you know if they have the opportunity to take a Sexton, um, I don't know if they take a Trey mm-hmm. Young, but <laughs> could you imagine Trey Young and Devin Booker in the same same uh, uh, one two well, guard I mean, combo? Right Jesus now they are Christ. number two. Yeah. So I, I mean they're they're probably going to maybe go Luca, mm-hmm. possibly Aiden if he's still available. Um, yeah. They could still win the lottery. Um, um, Who knows? I mean, they get screwed in the lottery a lot. I could see them dropping back to like four or five. Easy. It, it'd be crazy to see what happens if they're able to put Aiton down there. Probably be the smartest choice. But I mean, if they're able to get a, a point guard like Sexton or Young to pair with Devin Booker, watch out, world. I mean, you got Splash Brothers two point oh. Give this Trey Young and Devin Booker. That's all I'm asking. Give well, this boy some help. And I'll give Josh Jackson credit. He's he's he's, he's getting better quickly. He's getting real. Be- I mean, you we <laughs> talked about Brandon Ingram. Uh, you know, not having a great rookie year last year. He's been ridiculous so far. Um, this year, I mean, Brandon Ingram uh, as a point forward has yeah. been awesome this year, and and we can see the development in Josh Jackson could possibly be the same thing. So we'll we'll see what happens with Josh Jackson. I don't know if he's going to be that point forward, but still, mm. I mean, two way player Josh Jackson, yeah. if he's able to develop That's that sexy. jumper, gonna be ridiculous. Um, anyways, my wet boy of the week we already talked about him, Anthony Davis in the <laughs> past games. They have a seven-game win streak, but Anthony Davis, 35 points per game, 15 total rebounds per game, two blocks per game. I think he's also got a little under uh, two uh, two steals a game. He's also averaging around an assist and a half a game, shooting 50% from the field. Didn't hit a three, but he is efficient from the line, 84% for AD and the brow. So uh, giving some love to Anthony Davis again. Uh, the now leader in wet boy what, – what, what are we calling this? Wet boy honors? Yeah. Yeah. What is that boy, what we're calling And the 2018 – and then, 2017, we're the 2018 wet, and then we're gonna have the all-time wet boy award at the end of the year. But is it well, all-time wet boy or is it wet boy of the year? Wet boy of the year. Wet boy of the year. So this is a wet and then, boy. Like, so years wet... down the line, we have the all-time wet boy. So he's got a yeah. wet boy honor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and he did just pass up James Harden. He did. So, so how the, how the rankings go right now? AD has four. Mm-hmm. Harden and LeBron are tied two three at three. And then we have a now one two three four five six seven eight nine. 10 player tie at Jesus two. Christ. To be fair, Deb Booker Deb Book got just two, added into that. But the, the Suns themselves have won, so nope, I would argue. It's not on the, didn't put it on the list. Nope. It's not on there. No, the Suns are on the list. <laughs> yeah, didn't put it on there. You should put the Suns on nope, the list. You threw that vote away when you said the Suns. <laughs> No, the Suns wet, boy, be... wet boys are players. It's one player. No. Okay, so first off, boy, whole team. first off, you were on the podcast yeah. when that happened. You put that on there. <laughs> put that on there. Put the Phoenix Suns one wet boy. All okay, right? sure, I did it. No, you he didn't. Did not. Put the Suns on there. <laughs> okay, I, I think will. you shared the. I think you shared the link with us. I'm I'm editing that. Um, 
Anyways, he's going to take off the permission <laughs> now. Anyways, fuck you, Ricky. Put the Phoenix Suns in the wet boy. They earned that wet they boy. Got the, they got the vote. All right, this is going on too long. we got to wrap this up. Uh, I'm totally off track now. You suck, Ricky. Um, what were we talking about? Come wet on. boys. Wet boys. Oh, uh, it's a wet boy honor. So now he's yeah. the, the leader in wet boy honor uh, with four. But an honorable mention. The wet boy race. The honorable mention this week goes to Damon Jones for getting a bowl of soup thrown in <laughs> by J.R. Smith. What kind of soup do you think it was? Uh, we were talking about that. I, I, I see Jr. as a grilled cheese tomato soup guy. Okay. What? Really? Yeah. I think I think as crazy I as he is. I can see tomato soup. I, I think as see crazy it. as he is. On and off mm-hmm. the court, as goofy as he is, I think he is a, a classic when it comes to the soup and lunch combo mm-hmm. of a grilled cheese and tomato soup. I think I, I think JR that. is pretty calm when it comes to his Could food. you imagine if it was like a cream of chicken rice or something like that? Like a cream soup instead of like the regular broth that soup? That stuff could like scald you. No, it, it could. But that's the thing when we're talking, is it a gazpacho? Like, is it oh, cold? Yeah. <laughs> you stole my thunder there. But then also, I mean, like, was I, ho- it, I hope it was cold. Was it for reheated Damon. soup, but. Did he not throw the soup in the the microwave yet? You know when you get mm. like you go out oh, to a restaurant. Oh, soup. Yeah. No, no, you go out, you go out to a restaurant and get oh, okay. soup. But it's like you, you in put the it in the fridge. To go. Yeah. yeah, you get it to go, and that's in the styrofoam container. And yep. you're like, oh, I'm gonna reheat this up mm-hmm. tomorrow, and it's just that like jelly, disgusting blob. Ugh. And you have to put water in it. Maybe it could was just that like. You put that, water in it. Well, yeah, you, t- you gotta put it, milk in it. No, when it's that blob, you put water in it. I, I'm a cream soup guy, so I put the milk in to he, make it a little I'd more creamy. Yeah, yeah. Probably shows he the knows difference what he's between doing. this <laughs> and that. It tastes better. There's it no gives, difference gives to me because it's just to get cream. the liquid back in. The yeah. liquid's already in there, Ricky. Mm-hmm. I'm starting with Ricky on this one. <laughs> I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.